guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here i am viewer and i am your finance online tutor so i am here to make it easy for you to calculate the mixed stream i have i have other videos if you can check them out on how to calculate the annuity and the lump sum so on today's video we are dealing with the mixed stream so with the mixed stream we see that each year we deposit a different amount so that's the difference between the annuity and the mixed stream with mixed stream we different we deposit different amount each year or we can say each day if we are dealing with uh, daily compounding so on today's video we will be dealing with the mixed stream so i am going to do an example for you to show you guys so if you are going to use do this using the the formula we are going to first calculate the present value for each year and then you add the present values and then you get to the amount for five years after that you look for the future value using the present value that you have added total present values for each year so what we are going to do now we are going to use the financial calculator to make everything more easier for us and to make sure that we don't waste any time when we are using uh, when we're calculating for exams or tests so let me show you guys how to use um financial calculator so here's a financial calculator uh, i like to zoom it in because i want everyone to see what I press and what I not, yeah. So on a financial calculator, we are going to say, first say orange shift and then say clear all. So that's it. So after that, we are going to say um, zero, say cash flow, we press on the cash flow. See, it's zero because there's nothing. If it was at the beginning, we're going to have an amount for at the beginning and press that amount, but we don't have any amount because it's at the end. So we are going to start at one. So what we do, we are going to say, um, here are our cash flows that we are going to enter into a calculator is our cash flow cf so our cash flow here are they. so we're going to press them in our calculator we're going to say our first cash flow it's eleven thousand five hundred so it's one one five hundred that's our first cash flow you see that's one and then we have fourteen thousand then our second cash flow second one then we have one two nine that's our third cash flow. Then we have 16,000. That's our fourth cash flow. Then we have the last one, which is 18,000. Um, it's our cash flow. So our interest given is 8%, and our N is 5 given. It's already, we know it's 5 years. So 5 years and then 8%. So we are going to say uh, 5 is our N, even if we did not press it, because I already know that it's 5 years. And then we say our 8, it's our interest. So remember here we are looking for a net present value because we are dealing with 5 years, not 1 year. We are, we are dealing with 5 years. So if we are dealing with 5 years, we are going to look for the net present value for these years. You remember at the beginning I said, if we're using the formula, we're going to calculate the present value for year one, year two, year three, year four, and then you add them to get the net present value. So now that we're using a calculator, we're going to say we have added, we have put our cash flows, but now we're looking for a net present value. So we need to say orange shift, and then we press here, net present value, which is NPV. So here's our net present value that we have calculated using our financial calculator. So we're going to put this one here to say um, this is our net present value, which is um, 56902,3. That's our net present value. So we have the present value now. So we need to, to calculate the future value because this is where we are going. So the second step is calculate the future value using our net present value. So we are going to say um, orange, shift, then say clear all. So um, we are going to say our 5 is our N, we have our 8 is our percentage, and then we have our present value, which is 5, 6, 9, uh, 0, 2, 3, 0. That's our present value. So now we are going to find our future value. So here's our future value. It's 83,608,15. So this is our future value that we were looking for. It's going to be 
that's our future value, the unknown we are looking for. So we are done in this calculation. So in a case where you are calculating for a present value, you know you're not going to go as far as uh, having to calculate again for future value. You're just going to calculate your present value. So let's do the second example. So the second example, we're given different cash flows again. It is 400, 800, 500, 400, 300 for five years at the end of the year. As I've said before, is that if you are dealing with at the end of the year, you're going to say um, zero because you don't have anything at the beginning and say cash flow and then you're going to insert your cash flows for year one so for year one it's 400 that's your cash flow for 400 800 for year two and then uh, 500 for year three and then uh, 400 for year four then we have for year five you are done then you are given the interest rate is 9% and N for 5 years. Even if you are not given the N, you would have known that it's 5 years because you have done it for 5 years. So I'm um, going to say uh, 9% is your interest. Here's your interest and then you say your 5 is your N. And then you put to calculate the NPV. You say the orange shift, then you press the NPV. There we go. You have your NPV as 1,904,76. So you are done calculating your things. That's your NPV with a mixed stream. I hope you guys understand. And if you have any questions, please don't forget to comment the question that you have or drop any uh, comments that you may have with regards to how I do my videos. Maybe I can improve or anything. Thank you, guys.